In the first few videos, we've talked almost exclusively about posts. In this video, we're going to shift gears a bit and talk about pages. If you'll remember from the second video in this series, pages differ from posts in that they typically contain static content that doesn't change very often. Examples of this on our demo site are the About Us or Contact pages. Posts, on the other hand, are articles, and they appear chronologically on a blog page, usually with the newest article on top. Because pages live outside of the blog stream, which is chronological, they're not displayed with the rest of your posts, but instead are displayed individually, kind of like permanent posts. In general, pages and posts are similar in that they both are essentially made up of a title and body text, but they differ in a few key ways. First of all, pages are not assigned to categories or tagged, but they can have a hierarchy. You can nest pages under other pages by making one the parent of the other. When a subpage is created, it typically appears underneath its page parent in a drop-down menu in the navigation bar. I'll create a new page from the drop-down in the toolbar and title this new page The Inspiration Behind Our Company. Now, let's assign this page a shorter permalink since we want it to be easy for folks to share and remember. Next, I'll paste some content that I created earlier. To determine the order in which a page appears, either choose a parent page in the Page Attributes meta box or assign a numeric page order that represents where you want the page to appear in the list. I'll assign this page to the third position within our list of pages. Click Publish, and now let's go view this page on our site. As you can see, our new page has been added to the menu at the top of our site in the third position. The All Pages subpanel provides all the tools that we need to edit, delete, or view individual pages. And as with posts, you can select multiple pages for bulk editing or deletion. The Bulk Edit tool allows certain metadata to be edited for an entire group of pages. For example, we can change the author, select a new parent page, choose a page template, enable or disable comments, and update the status for an entire group of pages at once. And of course, the Quick Edit function enables us to update the details for an individual page, including the title, permalink, date, password, and other page parameters, including the page parent or order, page template, and more.